Are you tired of painting board fence? Vinyl fencing might be a good option on your acreage. Today we're talking with Matt Omart from JNL Fencing. Matt, vinyl fencing is becoming more popular, isn't it? Yes, it is. What are the benefits of this type of fence? Uh, it's maintenance-free. Uh, you don't have to paint like you just mentioned. Uh, you know, there's a 30-year warranty on it. 30 years, so if I put it in, it'll go 30 years. Yeah. What are some of the different styles of vinyl fencing? Uh, we got four plank, which we got here. We got a three plank, which would they'd be spread out just a little bit more. And you got right. a two plank, which is a little bit shorter. It's more of a decorative. Decorative fence. And are there other decorative type of fences? Yes, there's a four foot privacy, a six foot privacy, a four foot picket. There's a lot of different of options. Things. Give me an idea then uh, about how much these types of fences cost. Uh, the price range, this stuff here, you're looking at about 10 to 12 bucks a foot. Uh, the privacy fence, you're looking at 28 to 30 bucks a foot. So all right, it just all depends on what style you put in. All right. And uh, we have a, a board here or a post here. Yes. This is the post that we use on your fence here. So you really sink that down yeah, quite a ways. Yeah, it's about two and a half foot in the ground. Okay. And then we, con we drill a 12 inch hole and then concrete them okay. all the way up. When you pour your concrete, you want to leave your concrete about three to four inches below the surface so you can put dirt back over it. All right. So you don't have a ugly concrete finish in your yard. It sounds a bit complicated. Is this something the homeowner should try himself or? He can try it. You can buy it at your, you know, they do have it at your local home stores. But yeah. It's uh, to get the good warranty and to get a good product, you're better off to have a custom fence builder install it for you. Yeah, okay. And then on the top of the post, you just have a little cap here that yep. comes on and, and off. Yep, and we glue those on when we uh, get done. All right. So you have your post in, then how do the rails fit in? Uh, the rails, they have a crimp in it. And this is our tool here we use to crimp. This slides inside the plank, and then you crimp it down, and it creates a... Uh, a flap that comes out and as you push it in the flap goes in and all once right. the plank slides past that it pops back out and that keeps it from coming oh, back okay. out on you. All right. Does vinyl fencing warp over time or become brittle or splinter? No it does not. That's why it's maintenance free. Yeah that's great. Um, now tell me with different types of livestock if I had horses is this the type of fence I'd want for horses? This would work for horses. Uh, sometimes we recommend depending on how wild your horses are uh, to maybe run a hot wire on the inside. Same so you run a little cattle. electric fence with it yes. as well. And for livestock, you do need the four rail. Correct. Not not three and definitely not two. Correct. So horses aren't going to chew on this at all? They can chew on it, but it shouldn't mess it up too much. All right. And if you have a problem with that, put a, run a hot wire along the top, and that would take care of that problem. As far as gates go, how, how does that work? Are those a little more complicated? The gates too? are a lot more complicated. You can set a wood post inside your post, or you can run a steel post inside your post, a steel square tube. Okay. And you concrete those in, and then you bolt through to hang those. You run a bolt clear through it. That's part of your hinge. It comes with All the right. kit. And you can make your own to fit whatever size you need, or you can uh, buy the pre-made ones. All right, that does sound a little more complicated than what I would be able to do. <laughs> yes. And I know one of the key things with fences is to make sure that they're straight. Do you Correct. survey those? Uh, we usually have the homeowner have it surveyed before we put it in okay. if it's in a property line. Uh, if it's not in a property line, you know, just wherever they want it and we can run the straight line. They just show us the corners. Uh, if it's on a property line, we, uh, we use a laser to sight okay. in use a laser. our uh, line. So there is a little bit uh, of work involved with putting these in. Yes, there is. Matt, thanks for sharing some information about vinyl fencing. Well, thank you, Betsy.